Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brain Shanae and today I'm going to be sharing with you finally my February and March wrap up. It has been a long time coming. I'm tired of seeing this pile of books on my floor. So it's about time that I share with you all my wrap up. Once again, I'm co combining February and March. So all in one video. So let's go. So for these first, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine manga. These are mangas that I read in February. And I was just hooked on this particular manga because it kept wanting me to know more. It kept wanting me to read on to see what happens next, to see what happens to the main character, what see what happens to his mother, like what's the relationship like? Like I just wanted to I just wanted to know. And I finally got to the final or not it's not the final um volume but the last volume that is uh, published and out in the world in the U.S. and so I'm sure if y'all know I think y'all know already but especially if you've been in my sprints for the last what few months or last year two years uh but I read volumes uh 7 through 15 of Blood on the Tracks uh by Suzu Ashimi this was so addicting and you know what I, I wanted to collect the series I'm like I gotta have this series um I do like this is a series that I would reread um because it is it's pretty good now it can be it can be really tough to read now I'm like I'm not gonna sugarcoat that at all like it is hard sometimes especially with what the mother does to her son and what she does to her son's cousin and how she treats her husband I'm like Jesus give me strength so literally like with with all these volumes I've rated them between a three or a four four stars out of five um I never have given them I think a complete five stars because I feel like I like I'm not saying they're not good but I'm saying like there's something that I'm I'm wanting from this I don't know what it is but so literally I rated them either three or four stars which is still pretty good like this series this this, this manga once again it is no joke it, it like literally how manipulative the mother is to her son and to her husband and to the people she's around it's like what had happened to you girl what happened and I just feel bad for her son I'm like, geez, I'm so sorry, bro. But yeah, so I read all these in February and I have no regrets. So there is that. Another manga that I also read in February is um, I'll Never Be Your Crown Princess. This is volume three, which I really enjoyed. And this is like the final, um, for this particular one, this is the final, uh, final manga in the series. And then it goes into the new one, which let me see if I can find it real quick um because I think it references like which how it continues to go on and then it'll go on um yes so the next one so this is the third one and final volume of this particular one and then the next volume which will be the first volume is I'll never be your crown princess betrothed and the the first volume it says it's coming out soon so I really enjoyed all three of the volumes this is the the final one the third one which it's chunkier than the others the other one was a pretty really small and I was able to get through them quickly but I was also able to get through this quickly and it's just really good now all like the smut and stuff and the other things happening in between the pages it wasn't a lot of that in this particular one but I feel like the next the next series of this particular one like I think it's it's going to be crazy so yeah I believe I gave this a five to five stars because I really enjoyed it and the context within it so I liked it so here's that the next book that I finally got to read I have to read the next two volumes or not volumes excuse me the next two books and this one really had me on a roller coaster like emotionally with each of these characters especially the villain in this uh in this particular book as well as the investigators of this in this particular book and how each every each and every character every single character in this book has gone through trauma and is very evident in this book um and there was times where I had to put the book down but that the book is just was well was well written like Eric LaSalle I give you your flowers like you are absolutely amazing at what you do this book right here Laws of Depravity was fire 100% I have no no bad things to say about this book because this is so realistic and like for the villain in this particular book he is mostly going for a uh, priest in particular um and he's pretty much killing them how the uh, Jesus' 12 disciples were killed 
Um, so, so yeah, so that a lot of them were it's brutal. It's brutal, which is why I was like, oh shit, I have to put this down for a second. It just got, it went dark. It's really dark, but so realistic. And I really enjoy this. So if you haven't even picked, like if you haven't started this series, pick it up because it's amazing. It's good. I don't want y'all to miss out on it. But I've, I gave this a five to five stars because it's really good. I definitely am going to be reading the second and third book in June. That is my goal. So yeah, if you haven't picked this book up, highly recommend it. It's good. The next book is the final book in the Gilded One series by Anamina Forna. And the finale of this what is so phenomenal and well written. And excuse me, and I'm sad that it's over but I'm I can't wait to see what Nomina has in store for us with her next uh art and work and so that is the eternal ones the gilded ones like the all her books the gilded ones the merciless ones and the eternal ones has been amazing all about God's identity identity finding about who you who who is who got your back 100% who is always going to be in your corner right like she goes through the main character uh, Decca goes through so much but then there's a there's a great ending to this y'all a wonderful wonderful finale for this series if you haven't read the gilded ones or this the three books go ahead and do it it'll take you on a roller coaster as well <laughs> but I gave this a five to five stars and I absolutely loved it so don't sleep on the Minaforna. Uh, this next book I had did a book review for, which I won't go into it. I believe I read this. Uh, I read this in February, uh, which is You're Breaking My Heart, which once again, I did a book review. I'll leave it up above so you can check it out. I don't want to get more in depth into it because I feel like the book review will state everything that needs to be said about this fantastic book. So there's that. Next book also did a book review for. This book I read um, in March. So I'm not going to go into much with this book. You'll have to watch the uh, book review after this video. And that is The American Queen. This is by Vanessa Miller. And literally on the front, it says, there is only one known queen who ruled a kingdom on American soil. This is her story. So yeah, I'm not even going to say more. I definitely want y'all to go check out that book review, y'all. Go ahead and do it. I'll leave it up above. Next book, I read Black Girl, You Are Atlas. This is by Renee Watson. And the art, uh, the fine art is by Equa Holmes. This was just a fun book to read. It's literally talking about Renee Watson and how she grew up like every step of the way. And the one thing that like not only is how like the poems and how everything is written is phenomenal and just brilliant. I love the artwork. Like I absolutely love the artwork as I was reading this. And literally, I'll, I'll even read this. It says, in the semi-autobiographical collection of poems, Renee Watson writes about her experience growing up as a young Black girl at the intersections of race, class, and gender, using a variety of poetic forms from haiku to free verse. And Watson shares recollections of her childhood in Portland, tender odes to the Black women in her life, and urgent calls for Black girls to step into their power. Need I say more? Of course, I gave this five out of five stars. I absolutely love this. Loved it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you haven't picked this book up highly recommend that you do it was a wonderful read loved it this next book I read in February you know it was Black History Month which you know Black History Month is every single month of the year let's 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 not get it twisted um and I read this I had annotated it uh and it makes me want to pick up uh Barracoon uh by um Zora Neale Hurston because a lot of the references are, you know, that was explained in this book was from Zora Neale Hurston. And that is The Survivors of the Clotilda, The Lost Stories of the Last Captives of the American Slave Trade by Hannah Dorkin. So it literally breaks down what had happened and everything. Like there's even a document, a document, uh, excuse me, a documentary. I can't talk right now. A documentary on Netflix um, called The Descendants. So definitely check it out. Like look up the Clotilda. Look up the survivors of the Clotilda. Like Google it. A lot will pop up and you will. And a lot of people don't talk about this like at all. And one thing like I liked in this book for sure was that they were giving Zorno Hurst and her flowers because she was the first person to even talk to the survivors of the Clotilda to even begin with so literally there's references from in here this particular book that they um bring up from Zora Neale Hurston's Barracoon which I'll probably also <laughs> will be reading that this year real like definitely for sure um but yeah I gave this um a four or five stars and I I really enjoyed the book so yeah I'm definitely looking forward to reading Barracoon by Zora Neale Hurston 
this uh, next three books I read in March. This one is The American Daughters by Maurice Carlos Ruffin. I gave this five stars. Five stars. This was such a great book. This was my first book that I read by uh, Maurice Carlos Ruffin. And this was a hard book too. Don't don't get me wrong. Like we meet a girl, um, uh, Adi, um, and her mother Sunit, and how, their journeys and how you know they were they were slave owners from from one of the most popular people or most influential people um, in um, in New Orleans, and um, it was just hard hitting. It, but I like the ending of how Adi, even though she had gone through so much, she was able to still be strong and do what was right in order in order to show her power and order and and also to embrace her name that her mother gave her because her slave the person that enslaved her called her by a different name they he said that her name was Antoinette her real name is Adi so you know she was in a heart like in, you know a rock in a hard place trying to say hey I'm Antoinette but no that's not my name my real name my mother my god-given name that my mother gave me is Adi uh, so if you like I like look I notated because it was just really really good so freaking good like I acknowledge a lot of things I wrote in it I I did I did a lot of things in this book because it was just so good so good and she joined Adi she ended up joining this group called the daughters um they have their own nicknames and stuff like that and it was just it was really good read yes it was hard yes it was hard you know because we're we're stepping back and we're talking about you know enslaved people during the time before the civil war and stuff that took place um and we literally are with Adi and her mother the entire time and witnessing their experiences that that they had taken place especially with Adi you know having her brother taken away from her and her mother um everything so really good I highly recommend it the next book that I read which I I was reading in February <laughs> but then Libby decided to take my audiobook from me <laughs> It's a sad day so I ended up finishing this in March and that is Chain Gang All-Star this is by Nana Nana Kwame Adeji Winya five to five stars this brings light to the prison system in the U.S. like wholeheartedly how corrupt it is like it brings up incident incidences that happened back in the past where they where certain people didn't even com commit the crime but still they were they were killed got hung or were uh um in the electric chair and i like that it brings awareness to this because our prison system is a form of slavery and i really feel like the prison system is not how it should be like if you think about an example I'm trying to think of life with Eddie Mur Murphy and Martin Lawrence and when they went to you know they didn't they they didn't commit the crime but they were they were the ones that saying oh yeah y'all did it da, da, da. so they went to prison they went to prison and they pretty much they were they were enslaved they treated them like slaves completely and they used them for their own benefit and for their own profit to make money off of people that were you know pretty much Im imprisoned so five to five stars if you haven't read Chang'e all-star i highly recommend it's phenomenal so there's that one and last but not least which this is another book that i read in march which i absolutely enjoyed well no there's other books i read in march i'll take that back um this is fathom folk by eliza chan five to five stars this has a lot to do with merfolk or, or, or sirens silkies uh, water dragons, uh, people, and it talks about discrimination and how literally you have the main character, Miram, who became a captain to work with humans. And she only did this because she felt like, okay, maybe if they work with a fathom, a fathom folk, which a fathom folk is a person, a person that is half, half human, half, um, you know, half, you know, either half water dragon half siren or whatever she was a half human half siren so she's thinking like if she got into the system maybe she would be able to make a difference and let humans know that they are they are still people you know even though they are different and they should accept them for who they are but she experienced so much discrimination and she soon even came to realize like they're <sighs> working in the system is cool and all but all they do is take advantage of you so she had to take a different approach when it comes to that and I just fell in love with this book this is the first book in the Drowned World series and 
I loved it. I loved every part of it because it's so realistic to especially what happens in the U.S. of how the people are being discriminated based on the color of their skin, not by the content of the character. So like it's just it's crazy or just because they look different people have to say something bad about them or just treat them differently and unjustly. So this was just a great great fantastic read five to five stars if you haven't picked up fathom folk yet i don't know what you're doing but definitely read this it's really good and last but not least i read the last five books of of uh, ice planet barbarians <laughs> and right now at the top of my head i don't know all the titles i read books six through ten so six seven eight six through ten which i'll leave up above right here y'all can check out look at the titles um and they were all pretty good I gave them, I gave some, I gave the first two out of five, three out of five stars. And the three, the remaining three, I gave uh, four out of five stars. So it was a good reading month in March. It was a good reading month in February. I think I'm trying to step up my game a little bit <laughs> in April for sure. I feel like I haven't read enough this year, even though, I mean, I've read like 63 books this year so far, which that's pretty good you know but I feel like I, I need to give myself grace and realize that that's still that's still a great accomplishment to do um so yeah but that is it those are all the books I read in February and March I really hope you enjoyed this uh long time coming wrap up if you did please 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 give me a thumbs up also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I upload more videos in videos in the future but once again thank you all so much for watching and hope you all are staying healthy and staying safe and I will catch y'all next time bye everyone